Hey Divine Fam, welcome to Live, Laugh, Love, Tear It. Today we're going to delve into the energy surrounding you at the current moment. This is a timeless read, so whenever you're seeing it, that's when it's meant for you. Okay, um, I'm going to try to cover a few things, you know, well-rounded, probably around relationship, finances. Um, but for the most part, this is really what is in your energy. So whatever comes out, okay? So uh, I do want to say thank you for all of the support um, of any kind is greatly appreciated. Know that any and everything that has to do with myself or the channel will be down below in the description box. Okay, remember to take what resonates, leave what doesn't. At the same time, you can always check out my playlist for additional reads. Okay. So Spirit, let's delve into Divine Femmes energy. What is the energy crowning Divine Femmes read? Please and thank you. Every thought I think is creating my future. Divine Femme, I feel like at the current moment, you're really creating your future. You're really manifesting, okay? And really, you know, when you think about the feminine energy, whether it's male or female, okay, this is the yin, okay? This is the art of receiving. Think that. So I feel like for a lot of you all, Divine Femme, if you're in this energy, you've already done the hard work. And now abundance is getting ready to flow toward you. I feel like this is a lesson that you've learned. That every thought counts. If you out here thinking negative, negative manifestations can come from that. Okay. Um, but at the same time, I feel like you're creating your future and it's something positive. It says the universe totally supports every thought I choose to think and believe. I have unlimited choices about what I think. I choose balance, harmony, and peace, and I express it in my life. So, Divine Film, you could be um, having a lot of people watching you at the current moment, trying to see what you're doing, trying to get the blueprint, because you look very happy. It says, I deserve the best and accept the best now. So, you definitely out here winning, Divine Film, but what did I tell you? That yin energy, you're receiving, you're accepting the best right now. Okay, so today is the fucking day. That's what I'm trying to say. Today is the day. Okay. I am mentally and emotionally equipped to enjoy a prosperous and loving life. So you're welcoming it in, right? You're receiving it. You're ready to receive it right now. And it says, it is my birthright to, to deserve all good and claim my good. So just because Sarah or Sean or your colleagues or strangers off the street you don't know, just because they mad or they're bothered by your success, your fulfillment, your happiness, everything that you've manifested for yourself, Divine Film, it does not mean that you have to hide it or not let it out and not let it shine. People are going to see, Okay. Because maybe you just that example that they need to actually see somebody do it so that they could believe it. Maybe you was a divine fam out here. You trying to tell people like, hey, look, you can manifest your every desire. If you change your actions, maybe you were trying to build up the people around you, divine fam, so that they could have more too, right? Because you love your people. But at the same time, I don't feel like anybody was jumping up to take the lead like you were. You could have been a divine femme out there that has been in some sort of solitude. And you have equipped yourself with right mind thinking. Um, the esoteric world would call that God's consciousness. It's called right thinking. Okay, so now you are in alignment with that. And you will receive the fruits of your labor. The hard work that it took to get you in alignment with that. I mean, come on, divine femme. What is in Divine Fem's energy right now, Spirit? What do Divine Fem need to know most of all right now? Please and thank you. Hey, the swords, get out your head. What are you in your head about? Two of swords. Um, you could have recently, I just heard breakup clear as day. But I mean, it don't necessarily have to be that. It could be anything that has caused, damn, it is an ending. Because if you think about it, look, and look with the emperor card, you definitely just had to take some charge in your life. Eight plus two is what? Ten. So this is ten swords in your back, Divine Fem. Smash that like button if this is resonating with you. I feel like somebody recently could have betrayed you. You could have feel betrayed. 
you know, and so you put in this work to take charge of your life. It could have been a masculine energy that was treating you like an option. But at the same time, this is all about you. So I feel like, yes, somebody was in your energy that pushed you to this right thinking. OK, because it's like I'm a divine femme. I'm not going to settle for anything. I'm not going to settle for less. It's harvest season. So the price is about to double up. Two of Pentacles. Someone was definitely juggling you. You could have recently found that out. Yeah, with the five of pentacles, you could have abandoned this person. No, you could feel abandoned by this person. Okay, that's just what's coming up in your immediate energy. You feeling abandoned by someone. And I feel like you stood on it, though. You stood 10 toes down and you did what was needed to be done. Mm. And there go the ten of swords. You pulled them right out your back. I can't make this up, divine fan. Here's the ten of swords. But they, they don't, I mean, they do still look in your back. But I mean, <laughs> you know what I'm trying to say. If it's in reverse, that's like the opposite. I mean, we can look at that as an extreme. So we could say that that extreme betrayal or what you felt led you to right thinking. Like he was like, look, I don't like the way that you don't express yourself. I don't like the way that you don't make me feel secure. Like someone could have definitely been trying to control a situation with you, you know, like that. But at the same time, just wasn't offering the things that you were requiring, you know, like that. So it was like they wanted their cake and eat it, too. That's what this looked like to me. Yeah. With the three of wands, you got tired of waiting. That's how it led you to right thinking. Am I right or am I right? It's like some type of energy. You're like, no, fuck that. I'm not doing this anymore. Now is my time. Right. With the King of Cups, this was definitely somebody I feel like that was emotionally manipulative in some type of way. And it was like, I feel like they were emotionally manipulative because this person was painting a picture like things were really not like that. And it's like you had to take the rose colored glasses off. You could be a fire sign. You could this person could have been an Aries um Aquarius, Libra, Gemini, could have been a Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, could be a Leo or a Sagittarius. But it's a type of energy here where it's like this person, like I said, they wanted their cake and eat it too, okay? Very passionate though. I feel like they were passionate, you know? Um, but still just trying to control the situation. Passionate to the extent, like to the detriment of you, but to the extent that it fulfilled them. Like it was one-sided, okay? Yeah, with the four pinnacles here, you're like, no, I got to let that go. You know, I think that ran its course with the justice card. Like, no, I deserve better, right? With the high priestess, you probably just fell back from this person. You could have been someone that spoke and spoke and spoke on things. And after a while, you're just like, now I'm done talking. You know, that's what I'm seeing here. Let's elaborate more. What does Divine Femme need to know about this spirit? Like, what does Divine Femme need to know about this moving forward? Yeah, that this was a karmic relationship and it's just really time for you to heal your heart. So it's like, I feel like that's what you're already doing. Like, boo, you about to indulge in like some abundance. That's what it looks like to me. Like the divine always rewards those that put in their work, right? And what did you put in to deserve this, right? You put in um, healing yourself from turmoil and bad situations um, that trigger you well really just was all meant to trigger your own personal growth divine film because maybe you were stagnant in some type of way you could even look at this like why was the most recent person that you were dealing with you could have really been fond of this person that's what i'm getting because you felt a betrayal from this why were they sent into your life to wake you up inside to show you Divine Femme, you could have been out here a little too comfortable. Spirit wants you to speed that up so that you can get to the good parts. Because maybe you've been a Divine Femme that's went through a lot. Especially with healing heart here. And what do you know? Somebody's looking at your photos, missing you, having that nostalgic energy while you're moving forward to make new memories. So this person will miss you. Okay, um, They could clearly see how they didn't offer enough. OK, if you want to know, like, because maybe they won't give you closure on that. But if you wanted to know, like, will this person miss you? Yes. Will they know what they did wrong? Yes. I feel like they already know it. They just try to offer it to you to see if you would take it. This person is all for themselves, self-indulging. OK, and if you look right here, it says time to heal, shadow work, self-appreciation. That's what it pushed you to self-appreciation. And that seems a lot like right thinking that seems a lot like 
self-appreciation now you got time to you know i don't know think about the things you actually want if you've been in a situation that has been lacking so let me get one more how does this situation benefit divine film okay it says need time takes time in times it's cycles and if you look closer it says time to heal progress so it was just to further along your progress it was a karmic relationship divine fam and something better will come along okay this person um probably ran away from you but it looks like you're gonna run away from them maybe some of you all were learning how not to lean on people so much you know not to be codependent the universe wants you to be codependent on it like god right the divine wants you to be codependent upon itself right you know man can only feel a certain amount of um fulfillment for us but god can do what the flesh cannot god is perfect okay and god is good all the time and this is showing me that um even when you thought you were hurting divine fam you were actually being liberated god was giving you tough love and one way or another God was going to make sure that you got what you deserved and that you got what you wanted and that you put yourself first because you deserve the best and you're accepting that now or you're learning to accept that. And that's good. That's fucking great. Um, let's see. What else can we delve into here for Divine Femme? What's currently in Divine Femme's energy that we haven't talked about? Spirit, please and thank you. Okay, so there is some type of forbidden energy here, okay? Uh, this is giving, um, I'm having a brain fart, y'all. I'm so sorry. This is giving uh, Candyman, okay? Some of you all could like horror films, um, but this is that type of energy like, why am I hearing, what's in the West Wing? It's forbidden, like this is that beauty and the beast energy also like curiosity meets ass whooping okay or knowledge okay let's see how does this what does this have to do with divine femme this forbidden energy could have opened a can of worms divine femme with a flight somebody is obsessed that's what it looks like divine femme you must know this it's almost like it's tea piping hot somebody's obsessed with you and it could have, it could very well be this person, like, cause you could have, let me just hear me out. Okay. When you were dealing with this past person, did you get red flags that maybe you shouldn't deal with them? But yet, ah, you did it anyway. Cause you was a gremlin. It's, I mean, you know, you know what I'm trying to say. You, you just wanted to see, you wanted to play with fire a little bit. And, and now this person is obsessed with you. Like no cap. You see with the fertility here. It's like these are the type of people this person was used to dealing with. Fish lips, uh, rabbit eyes, squinchy eyes. Everybody needed some. Who was this in the background? I mean, it's just, you know, maybe people were like really trying to lock this person down. You know what I'm saying? Maybe this person had insecurities about you in the beginning. You know, that's why things were like really going so, oh, we, oh, we look at this. I didn't even know this card was in here. Trap. Now, look, if you know, you know. You see that looking up. Look, if you know, you know. You know that look in the eye. You know what movie that is. This seems like a trap, right? Somebody thought that they were going to trap you, Divine Femme, and you you trapped their ass. Now they're obsessed, okay? Mm -hmm, with the nature it's like somebody is just so haunted by you, see signs about you, reminded about you. I mean, you know, but ain't the karma is a bitch. You thought you was going to play around with me. That's what it looked like, this past person, the most recent person of life. You know, so I'm trying to tell you. If you was in love with them, if you was really feeling them, this is for you. This is them. Okay? It's like they thought they was going to play with you. They thought they could play. But maybe you were really this person's karma as well. Maybe this person did things like that and they needed to feel it. You know, well, anyway, bottom deck here is trapped. So this person could feel trapped um, in a situation with a the hunger there. Um, this is night of the living dead. So um, I just feel like people were turning out not to be 
who they thought they were. Like maybe they felt like they had some other other contenders, other options, a roster even. You know, this could be somebody that's real flamboyant, wants to like um, control situations or look good or always be on an up and up. You know, but it's like, shit, this person bit off more than they can chew. chew that's what I see. And I just feel like maybe you won't know this. That's why it's coming out here. But um, this person definitely is feeling that with the children of the night. It's like something is about to take flight. This person combination this person um be careful divine fam like i don't feel like you're in danger but i just feel like this person is acting out of character okay because they have strong feelings towards you they feel trapped in a situation they probably didn't even know you was pulling away remember when the high priestess came out and you just like you know what it's cool i'ma just go this way and I'm not even going to tell you. Like, that's what it's telling me here. So this person is like, they having a wake-up call. Okay. What does Divine Femme need to know moving forward? And surrounding finances and stability. Just because I promised you all that, you know, we would cover that. That this would be a well-rounded reading. I do see the Ace of Pentacles in this pre-shuffle here. So I do feel like you have finances coming towards you. In this right way thinking, you know, um, Yin is a very abundant energy. That's that feminine energy. That's that empress energy. When all of your needs are being met. Why? Because you deserve the best and you're finally accepting that now. So let's see. Um, regarding finances, you know, stability, things like that. Because it seems like that's what Divine Femme is moving towards as a desire spirit. Um, how is that going to turn out moving forward? Ooh, star card. Even in the current moment, Divine Femme, you could be raising to stardom. Like, you could really be successful or, like, receiving some type of recognition. But, I mean, it's bigger than that. If it was just recognition, it would be, like, six of wands, energy. Okay, cool. But this is, like, you're in, you finally recognize for something that you can do over and over and over again you see all the medals and all the ribbons to infinity and beyond it's like you're number one and you're going to be in that energy for a long time like nobody's going to be able to take that away from you with the two of cups in reverse see look before maybe things that you really wanted you felt like they were taken away from you divine fam but whatever this is that's giving you stability and finances and abundance, it cannot be taken away from you. It's not something superficial. Yeah, with the five of swords here, this is something that you have attained. So look, it's that thought. It's the thoughts. Because it's like if something doesn't align for you, Divine Femme, look, if something doesn't align for you, you can adjust it. You see how they're making adjustments here? You can write your way of thinking with the justice card here. Because you've been through it before, right? You don't have to let things get worse with the three of wands. You don't have to fully accept whatever is coming in that's that you don't like. It's like when you're manifesting. If you don't like what you're manifesting in, you need to get on it and manifest something else. You better do a counter manifestation or something like that. You know? It's like when a bad thought creeps into your mind. You're like, uh-uh, I don't want that reality. And what do you do? You instantly replace it with something better. That's what I need you to do. And that's what I feel like you'll continue to do long into the future. Especially once these things start rolling in for you. You're like, shit, I don't, I don't, I don't want anything less. I love it here. Why would I wanna? And you're you're gonna be able to maintain that so easily. Okay, yeah. Just what we're talking about. Uh finances and stability. So look, um, it's a type of energy here where if anybody ever tried to like abandon you or like, we're just going to use that term shit on you, you know, excuse my French, but I got to be all the way 100 with you, divine fam. Um, people are going to be pressed at the fact that you're doing well and, and nobody was in the gym shooting with you when you did this. It was just you and God. That's what this looked like. Just you and God. And it's a type of energy here where nobody will be able to knock you off your square. Let's see what flipped over here. Yeah, um, King of Swords is here. Oh, so you can have a Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. 
um coming towards you or somebody that's just very strategic uh to bridge a gap between the two of you all with the ten of cups you're looking very good um you could be very successful during this time because that's what we're talking about stability stardom you know um well into the future you know probably into the end of your life as we know it divine family i don't see you getting off of this throne no matter how many people see you and try to strategize to come towards you, this could even be masculine energies that try to come towards you uh, to pursue you. You know, you're kind of, if you're a woman, you're given Marilyn Monroe, like everybody wants you. You're so attractive. You're beautiful. Like, but at the same time, I feel like you really have something going on for yourself and nobody could really quite figure out what do you do to maintain your youth. Your success, your abundance. It's like it's effortless here. Yeah, with the Knight of Swords, these will be masculine energies coming in to reach out towards you. You know, just rushing towards you to say this, say that. It could even be people in the past that, like I said, shitted on you, right? Turn their nose up at you. And isn't that like God to prepare a feast before the people that hated on you or didn't have faith in you? Regardless if you are a humble person or not, I see a lot of karma here for other people. Maybe you could be somebody that's like really kind. And that is Empress energy. Like sometimes the Empress could be taken advantage of. So there could have been moments where you didn't know that you deserved the best because you had went through so much. So I don't see you coming off that throne. That's all I'm trying to say. I don't, I don't see that changing because it's been a long time coming. And you really have a right way of thinking. So nobody that's ain't been supporting you before this shift happened. You know, it's like everybody chose to turn their back on you at the perfect time in Divine Fam. Because, I mean, you took off right after that just like a fucking star. With the magician card here, yeah, just keep your eyes open for people, yeah, that want to take what you have manifested, that want to benefit off of you in some type of way, don't offer you much with the Eight of Cups as you continue to walk away, like, continue to make things easy for yourself. If something looks like it's a burden, if something looks like it's going to weigh you down or get you out of that energy of manifestation, co-creating with the universe, your desires, because let's be frank, if it was so easy everybody would be doing it why do they need to come towards you if they could do it their self because they can't okay and just like a used salesman like a used appliance salesman they're gonna try to sell you something that they could already ran on you before that's a typical knowledge or game you know like when somebody's trying to run some game on you that's what it looks like somebody here trying to come in and control a situation with the emperor car but i really feel like this is you you got shit on lock you know, people trying to wonder, like, man, how can Divine Femme hold up so much? You know, like that. These could even be mm, somebody as well that took a long time to come in. Oh, my God. I'm so tired of this person. From the beginning of your read, they steadily coming out Divine Femme. But didn't we say that they were obsessed? Karma is a bitch. Okay. Yeah. And here you go. Okay, cool. Here you go. You can't get out of Dodge quick enough. You don't care what you believe, leave behind anything and you you heard what i almost said believe you don't care what anybody believe think what you want it's like winning a lottery and you gone you can't grab your shit quick enough and then i never really noticed this before but it's a feather here in her hat you know and this is a feminine energy so we're gonna say that this is reflective of a divine feminine okay yeah but it's like you're getting ancestor messages you are protected your ancestors are with you if you look at it this is actually the feather that i got right here so yeah your ancestors are definitely with you divine feminine they guiding you and they're protecting you along the way you are never alone remember that you're never alone boo so yeah, with the nine of wands here, definitely protected. Okay. You're protected from having to put in all this work, you know, like that. Look, if this was to spill over, it would make a mess. I mean, I guess you are inside. I always thought this was a tree. So this person could even be inside. So you're like, yeah, I'm not going to rush and drop all, you know, everything that's of importance. You know, yeah, I may, I may, you know what I'm hearing? I might, I might buy a bitch, this and that, that and this, but I ain't tripping. Like, I'm not falling. No, Sersky. <laughs> I'm not falling for 
<laughs> that's what this look like like yeah you could come over here but i'm not gonna you're not gonna get me like that like you could you could do a little trick or two like you could show me your moves but i don't know if i'm for it or not because like i said it's a long time coming so i feel like you're gonna hold this down with the high priestess you're gonna talk a lot less Okay, it's like when you come in a room, people going to be talking, 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 trying to figure stuff about, and you're going to be very selective about what you say. You could already be like that. But with the devil card here, people are obsessing, okay? People want to indulge. This is what you're looking like, a chocolate snack, divine fam. Whether you're a male or a female, some of you all could literally be sexy chocolate. Or you could just like chocolate. Nonetheless, somebody definitely wants to indulge in this. Sees you as like a vice even. So continue to protect your energy moving forward because you're about to get that bag with the Ace of Pentacles. Okay, so it even comes out. I saw it in a pre-shuffle, but it comes out again. Let me pull one more. Yeah, Ten of Swords. The truth hurts. You know, it's it's almost like take them Ten of Swords like I had to. You know, because I ain't doing it again here. You passing them to one of the... um. We ain't going to call this a sword. It's really a pin cushion with pins. So you passing them a pin. Like, here, just try it. It's just one pin. See if you could take that. I took 10. I took 10 swords. See if you could take one pin. And if you can't do that, you ain't the one for me. That's what it looks like. You got so many people obsessing over you, divine fam. Wanting to fix things with you. Wanting you to fix their life. Wanting to come and, like, really um, drag you down slowly but surely. Devour all of your good essence and leave you with the baggage. I don't see you doing that. I already been there, done that. So um, moving forward, what advice for Divine Femme? Before I close out this read. Yeah, it says every hurricane comes to an end. You know, she don't even got shoes on. You just going to leave. You don't care if you prepared or not. You're just going to detach and answer the call to spirit. That's what it looked like. You're being divinely guided to do this. See, it's a time for healing, not war. Like, I'm not going to stick around and fight. I'm going to go heal myself because I, I had the resources to do that. Lastly, something lovely will grow of this situation. Okay, there's the Ace of Swords having that truth and clarity. We even have a rose there. So some of you all could like flowers. Um, just know that flowers are very significant of the dead. Okay, of the past on of your ancestors. And just know that they're with you. Okay, um, swim away from this situation if you haven't already. Some of you all, um, Tirit does reflect past, present, and future. So some of you all, maybe you haven't reached this end point yet. Maybe you haven't reached the end game yet, boo. But know that good things are to come just keep pushing if you're getting the intuitive like the intuitive nudges to move away from this situation some of you are at the beginning of this some of you are are at the middle and some of you all have already made it to the end where you're going to receive success happiness and abundance for the rest of your days that's what you're being blessed with due to your hard efforts you will never be forsaken or taken in vain that's what this is letting me know OK, all because you chose to leave something that no longer served you. OK, yeah, let them go. For those of you all that haven't let this person go, let them go and let go of anything else that doesn't serve you. I just heard let go and let God surround yourself with love. OK, um, lastly, I wanted to get a time frame, if any. Um, no, spirit says no. Um, so some of you all literally could be going through some of these things uh simultaneously so place yourself um where it resonates for you and don't try to force it um we also have an opportunity that is going to come so regardless of the situation you can't mess it up opportunity and a windfall is coming towards you yes that's what spirit is saying yes you can't mess it up abundance is yours success is yours anything else spirit for divine fam um communicate clearly Okay, as people come to communicate clearly to you, make sure that you get your point across, no matter if it's a few words or not. Let's elaborate on that for communicate clearly for divine fam spirit. Yeah, ask your angel. So spirit really wants you, you know, it's like an internal energy. You don't so much have to communicate outwardly, but you need to really be um, communicating inwardly. And how do we do that? Through our thoughts. 
So, I mean, this does come full circle. Um, spirit really wants you to be more engaged, though, with your angels, with your guides. Know that there is an internal world and that internal world is not reflected upon the outer world. It's the complete opposite. So it's like as you begin to go internally, your outer world reflects that. And it's like bounds and leaps so much that it's going to attract so many people to you, divine feminine, past, present. You know, new people, old people, and you're going to have to remain discerning and you're going to have to protect yourself always. But you will not be alone doing that. So remember to ask your angels, confide in the divine, confide in your um, ancestors as well. The bottom deck is you are surrounded by helpful people. OK, for some of you all, some of these people aren't really here in the physical world. They'd be angels, ancestors, guides, you know. And maybe that's where you're called to really have heavy emphasis is on your spirituality right now. Okay. I'm just a messenger. That's a spirit is saying that there is something better and you are deserving of the best. So accept that now divine film and enjoy. So if you happy to see that I'm back and you're a subscriber, smash that like button and thanks for having me. OK, um, if you're new here, smash that like button. OK, show your girl some love. Um, Know that sometimes I do go on a hiatus because um, I'm a human being just like y'all. And I can't be out here not growing as well. You know, to be a powerful healer, you must heal yourself first. So when you all are out here getting readings and you're out here searching for yourself, be um, discerning of that. If somebody is trying to help you and they don't really got their shit together, I don't know. Use discernment when it comes to that. Okay. Um, so know that if you want to book a person with me, you will only do so through my website. All of that information is down below in the description box. Thanks to you all who've always stuck with me throughout it all. Know that I will only um, provide readings to the best of my quality, to the best of my ability. Okay. And I hope you enjoy them. Till then, peace and love.